What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Chaz Custom Custom Model Cars coming at you guys with another exciting model kit review and this one's on a, a very exciting um, unicorn kit again. That's why I'm not showing the kit. I'm just giving you guys a little teaser um, as I did with the Land Rover um, because this is a very extremely rare kit. Very hard to find. I've been looking for this kit for a long time. Scored this on eBay for $50 to $4 and free shipping. Everything else was pretty expensive, and as I said before, I don't make a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money to get kits, but when there's those deals, you know, and there's the, that one opportunity you get that ain't going to come around again, you got to jump on it, so that's what I did. Um, this one's about, you know, in my budget range, so I'm not, you know, too worried about it, so just pretty stoked to have, finally have it in my possession, so it's pretty cool, and, and the, the way the guy described it and everything, you know, true to his word. You know, he earned his five stars, and he earned, you know, that's how he earned his, his badge, I guess, of being a top seller. He's been around for a long time, been doing this, so, and, man, I'm just, I'm just very stoked to have finally found it. And the other ones that were on eBay were really expensive, and I've seen some go even more worse in the past. Price gouging is ridiculous. But on that particular kit I'm talking about is the 125th scale Midnight Cowboy Custom Chevy Wrecker by Ravel. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is going to build build up into a great build, but unfortunately I have to give it a scale on a 1 through 10. I have to give it a low 7. I would go 6, but 7 is more reasonable, low 7. Due to the fact because there's a lot of flash on these parts after going through it and um, sink, sink spots you got to clean up and you got to clean up the injector pin marks here and there that are just obvious, especially in some of the chrome parts which I'll be discussing, but the bed is probably the worst So in the frame of the truck. So that's very unfortunate. But other than that, you know, I'm going to enjoy building this, this kit. I'm glad to have it. Uh, this is an open box item, by the way. So, but everything is all in there. Um, not a new kit or anything, but to me it's new because all the parts are there. But, um, but yeah, so... What we're looking at is the box art here, and then we have the box art here with a little bit of detail or description of the truck itself. Then you've got the box art on this side, which is the same as this side here. And then over here, you have more of the description of, of the model kit and all the details and parts involved, including some more detail. And oh my gosh, I just noticed that this is a 1978 kit. I thought this was like an 82 or something. 1978 by... Wow, it used to be in Venice, California. Got a couple of those. So I wish they were still in Venice. But they're out there in Chicago in the great windy city. So they're too far from, from, from me. <laughs> but anyway, so that's that on the box. There's nothing else on the bottom of it, of course. But a very vintage, rare kit. So let's go ahead and crack this kit open and uh, show you guys what's going on. The guy who sent me this uh, model kit, I mean, everything was... was is, is, you know, everything is exact to what he described on eBay. I guess he's been around for a while and, you know, he's got, you know, uh, he's a top seller and everything like that and whatnot. So I could see why he actually went above and beyond when he packaged this kit. He added a lot of stuffing and he put stuffing inside the box itself to keep everything from falling out. Um, and he put it all in these little plastic bags, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and just take these, start pulling these out, and I'll show you guys what's going on. So here you got the truck bed, then you've got you got the cab, your set of tires here, your uh, tinted windows, which I'll get to that. Uh, one chrome tree, full of chrome. That's that. Here's your first bag of parts here. Um, bag number two, which I had to cut down to size and whatever. So. Take pictures easier for the slideshow. Empty bag. This is uh, one of the parts that fell off, and he was kind enough to put it in a Ziploc bag. I mean, that's freaking cool. So here's a chassis. And there's another bag of parts here. And your last bag of parts here. So there's a lot to deal with. Oh, and here's a sling, by the way. And then down in here, you have your decals, of course. I mean, your instructions which fold out like so. So you got your brief description and everything like that. You've got all your assembly instructions here. Um, nothing labeling what the parts are, actually are. 
Um, so it's going to take some figuring out what you know what goes where and what is what and sort of thing. You do have to add your own cable kind of thing or strings or whatever, but it gives you a nice illustration on how to apply that. So here's the um, back side of everything, the last part of the assembly. And then here are these wonderful decals. I'm not going to take them out of here. I'm just going to show it to you because he bagged it up too. He put it in a Ziploc bag. Very nice, you know, for the age and for being an open kit. Um, very cool stickers, by the way, or decals. Very nice graphics for being 78 and all, you know what I mean? So this is pretty cool. There's no yellowing, no tinging. Of course, there's your instructions on how to apply it. But they almost look brand new. There's no warpage or nothing in these. So I could probably use these if I wanted to. So... Well, there you go. I do apologize that everything is going to come out looking dark and everything like that. I mean, they're all molded in black, so what can you do, you know? So, I do apologize. I'm doing the best I can, so. Um, okay, here's the axle, uh, the rear axle for the, um, the tow truck. It's pretty cool. So, there's nothing else attached to it. It's just pretty basic. Here's your CB radio. I believe that's what that is because it's supposed to come with a CB radio, and I think this is it here. Um, here's your chassis which has got some nice detail to it. There it's just pretty basic kind of flat kind of thing but um, you do need to do a lot of filling in on the sides like boxing it in a little bit more. Um, that's that's you know basically what it I guess it was in, in the old days I guess in the 70s. So there you go. And on the underside well, here's your engine mounts that are molded in, so, which I'll be doing an engine swap, of course. I'll be doing something a little bigger and faster, so, but, see, you got to box all that in because it's not molded properly, of course. But that's easy to take care of. There's some minor flash to take care of. Here's your um, leaf springs with the shocks uh, molded into it, so you got to pick up the details and paint those. But overall, they look pretty great, pretty nice detail to it. And then here's your sling, of course. Um, you got to fill in those areas there. But overall, it looks pretty cool. Just got to clean up some flash and a few little things here and maybe scuff it up and, you know, make it look used. And then here's your dashboard. It's got some uh, detail into it, but the uh, gauge details are very vague. So you can, you know, find some decals or whatever. So got to do some cleaning up here and there. Um, overall, it's pretty nicely molded. CB radio is actually molded in as well. So you can make this into a repo truck if you wanted to. Now, the bottom part, you don't have to really fill in because you're, nobody's going to see that. So that, that's cool. And then on this tree, you have your roof piece with the um, truck lights or the cab lights, your headers. Your fan, your steering wheel, um, this is part of the tow boom, I think. There's your front axle, there's your um, axle nubs that attach your wheels on, your drive shaft, your um, fan belt pulley system there, there's your, um, these are your tailgate sides or bed sides. There's a radiator, the uh, manifold with the molded in um, heads, and then your engine with the molded in oil filter and starter. So, and then you got your mud flaps here. A lot of flash to clean up, a lot of things to take care of. Details pretty nice, pretty minimal here and there. Radiator's got some nice details. Drive shaft needs to be upgraded to something a little bit bigger. That just looks very flimsy. Uh, the axle looks okay. Um, does probably need an upgrade as well because it's very, very, very thin. It needs to be a little thicker than that. Look like a real axle kind of thing. So, uh, just my opinion. Uh, not a big fan of the engine, but again, I will be doing an engine swap for this. Okay, on this tree, you have all your um, your tow truck stuff here. 
Um, your winch comes in two halves that you got to glue together. Pretty nice detail overall. I mean, you could also grind all this down if you wanted to and add your own um, string to it or whatever, like wrap it around and that sort of thing to give it a more realistic look. Here's the sides. Um, I think these are, what are these? Oh, these I think house your your lights, your emergency lights where the winch goes and everything like that. So I'm looking at the box. I'm trying to figure out all these parts. So I'm not a tow truck person, so I don't know how all this goes. So and then this one's like the brace, I think, for it. So nothing too much. There's no texture on it or nothing, just what it is. So if there's spots that need to be, that are that can be seen you need to get rid of those injector pin marks if you choose to do so so that's just a little tip and then here's your um, fuel tank could be a little bit bigger and then you got your tow boom here um, with some nice some nice detailing to it uh, nothing going on too much does need to be cleaned up a little bit then you got your front bumper which unfortunately you have to plug in these holes in the front because they put pins in the back and didn't fill it in with the with the plastic. So it does need a lot of cleanup from the flash and everything like that. But overall, it's pretty nice with all the detail. Um, this needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. That's another molding um, flaw right there. And then injector pin marks need to be removed again if you choose to do so. So, But overall, the parts look really great. And then on this tree, um, this one actually fell off. So this is part of the towing, I guess. And on this tree, you have your um, jerry cans. You get four of them because they're, um, which equal to two, uh, they're just in halves. So you got to put them together. Um, overall, they're pretty nice. They're kind of nicer than the ones in a Land Rover, but you still got to fill in these little sink marks, which is kind of unfortunate. Another part of your tow boom here, you get your um, wheels for the little uh, cart thing that goes in the back. There's your jack handle there. Um, you get the uh, bed wall which needs to be re, uh, reshaped because it is kind of warped. It's kind of like a U kind of thing. There's your um, firewall, which is pretty massive, molded in detail and everything like that. Um, here's your interior tub. It's very unfortunate. The bench seat, um, the door panels, the um, boot, shifter boot, and the pedals are all molded in. It's got some nice carpet detailing, but kind of wish all, those, all, all this stuff wasn't molded in, but it is what it is. Can't complain, you know, so... And then, of course, you've got your, um, your exhaust, two-piece exhaust. You've got the rest of your jack, which, if you want, you could, you know, change up the wheels, make them a little fuller. These are the little racks that hold these tires. So, overall, everything else has a lot of nice detail. It needs some cleanup from the flash, some sink marks covered up and whatever. So, but that's all up to you. And also, the tires, they need to be sealed up in the back as well and reshaped. If you, if you choose to do so. The next set of parts we got is the body parts, the truck bed, uh, the rear bumper to the truck bed, which is really nicely detailed. Again, you're going to have to clean up most of all this blemishes, but other than that, it's pretty good. Oops, I'm holding upside down. So you got your little um, loops for your, your, hook your chains up. You got your uh, taillights molded in. That's unfortunate. But you got to do a little clean up there. Little clean up over here, and of course your um, you got uh, the little tabs here for your um, support boom and all that stuff. It needs a little clean up from the flash, but nicely uh, molded. A lot of injector pin marks to clean up as well. Again, if you choose to do so. So there you go. Here's the um, the truck bed itself. I think it's a a, a Holmes Wrecker bed. I'm not I'm not 200% for sure. Because I don't know my two truck, my tow trucks too well. So, um, but it's got some nice simulated um, diamond plate detail to it. Uh, very very cool. Um, nothing else going on. Got to do a lot of cleanup there. A lot of filling. Uh, a lot of filling in. Um, same with the sides, which is very unfortunate. I mean, look at that. So there you go. Um, Ejector pin mark needs to be removed. A few things need to be filled in. It's a nice bed, but it would have been great if they would have not done all this crap here, but you have to fill all that in and get rid of it all, so it's unfortunate. Um, here's the um, cab and the um, the tilt piece, uh, tilt, 
the one piece tilt front end you got to get rid you got to get rid of these here and stuff and this here you got to get rid of these very carefully because this is very very thin and flimsy so but there's the uh, cab nicely molded um, molded in door handles door locks places for your mirror it's got a nice high gloss shine to it so you could probably like shine this up a little bit and not even have to paint it um, so there you go it's got some blemishes here and there and then the underside got some injector pin marks and then same with the hood with the fenders got to get rid of that 39 because I don't think you want that on there when you tilt the front hood so and there's a few injector pin marks you need to clean up as well so a few things that need to be done overall it's pretty nice for what it is and uh, last and then uh, now we're going to talk about the windows and everything else which is all molded in tint very nice got a little blemish should be easy to take care of but the rest of it looks okay um, your sirens are actually um, or your for your light bar and everything those are all tinted same with the uh, these two little light light things here I'm not sure what these lights go to but those are um, tinted as well so but overall it's pretty nice a little flash needs to be cleaned up a little bit okay guys here's the last of the parts uh, the chrome is actually in its own factory bag but um, some more stuff the tires are very blocky they're hard plastic uh, they're not vinyl or rubber they're very hard plastic so it's got nice raised lettering and um, tread detail but uh, you could do with some better tires than that so but the front end are skinny kind of skinny and then the back are a little fatter so but there you go front and back has got all the detail there's not a lot of mold seams that I can see but seem okay for what it is um, one of the parts that fell off the chrome tree I'm not sure what um, what this is called but this goes to the truck along with its little brother right there and then you have your truck like front end front grill which has got um, kind of like a Peterbilt I think it's a Peterbilt it says Pete on there so um, it's like a mini truck grill kind of thing and then you got your um, fog lamps molded in a lot of um, blemishes and flash that need to be cleaned and then probably re-chromed you got your hinge supports here in the back molded you got to get rid of some injector pin marks as well that can be seen um, here you have your headlights with the lenses molded in your um, side mirrors with the antennas molded in again a lot of cleanup is needed you might want to just trim those and make it out of wire or something so it's up to you um, then you got to carefully remove this chunk of plastic not sure why that's there but you got to remove that there's your rims it's got some nice um, detail to it I think these are the back back wheels and these are for the front so it's got nice tread detail holes have been removed you got your, your um, tail lights your quick change rear end So these tail lights, I think, I believe, these go onto the um, the original um, Peterbilt style truck that this one is. This was converted as a tow truck afterwards, I guess. So not sure what those two little things are down here. But another look at the quick change rear end it looks pretty good. You got the top of the cap that goes to the, um, the air filter here. You got your spotlights. You got the hubcaps that go into the wheels that go on the rack. There's your light bar, air tank. I believe that's what that is. Your valve covers, air horns. This is your um, side steps, which is very unfortunate uh, to, that you have to ruin uh, the diamond plate if you choose to do so. There's a lot of injector pin marks. You can see it up in here a little bit more. So that's very unfortunate. Same with the back. 
So, and then uh, you have your little rack bar here for for the wheels. That's where they go on to your hook. I'm not sure what these other pieces are. This one and these two. But um, but yeah, that's that. So parts will look really good. They just need a lot of cleanup and a little TLC and should be pretty good. Are we chromed or painted or whatever your choice is? So. Well, that concludes my um, model kit review uh, for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. In the comments below, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, what, do you, what are your guys' thoughts and everything about this kit? Um, again, I think this is going to build up to be a very nice kit. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, so, I'm, again, I'm just very stoked to have this in my collection. and To finally have acquired this unicorn kit. Um, not letting this one go, <laughs> that's for sure. I'm, gonna, I'm planning on building this not anytime soon. I still got other projects I got to do, but I do plan on jumping on this thing. So, but um, just a badass kit. So, yeah. So you never know what you're gonna find on eBay. Sometimes um, I know some of you guys are not big fans, but I haven't had any problems with eBay. Not one. I've I've been very cautious in what I do. I've been taking all your guys' advice and you know learning from all. Your, what, you, what you guys have been going through with eBay, so I've been learning through that and you know avoiding as much as I can. So, anyways, um, like I always say, you guys keep your heads up no matter what. Through all the struggles, keep hope, keep faith, keep up the great work, keep on building those models, keep up the great projects, keep doing what you're doing, keep it fun, keep it positive, keep being true to yourself, and don't bring your egos and your beasts to the workbench, as I always say, because it destroys the hobby. We have a lot of kids and we have a lot of newcomers that look up to us that. Um, gain exp uh, inspiration from us so let's try to be positive role models and take time out of your busy schedule I know everybody's busy especially through the holidays but take the time out to answer back to your fans or people that have questions and to everybody out there don't be afraid to critique our work and us model builders should not get butt hurt over it and just take the criticism as long as it's nice criticism not being a jackass or a keyboard warrior or a troll or whatever you want to call them and show up in front of your friends that you could put somebody down no you know, speak your mind on how you feel about that build. What you would do and your idea and that sort of thing. It's it's all about teamwork. So it helps us model builders grow. So if you guys ever have any questions, you know, I try to answer you guys back as quick as I can. So and I try to be helpful. So, But anyways, you guys, so till the next video, it's your boy Chaz Custom, Custom Model Cars, and I'm signing out. Peace.